In this video tip, we will look at how to use the features of the Rich Content Editor in My Classes. The Rich Content Editor will be used when creating or editing an announcement, an assignment, a discussion, a page, details for a quiz, or questions for a quiz, as well as in the Syllabus tool. In this example, we will look at creating a new page. We'll add our page title, and now we can use the Rich Content Editor to add content to the page. The Rich Content Editor has a menu bar, a toolbar, and a content field. To add content to the content field, you can use the menu bar or toolbar options to add, edit, and format your content. From the toolbar, you can adjust the font size, add text blocks, add text emphasis, and add superscript or subscript text. Applied formats are indicated by an arrow. You can also insert links, external or course links. If you click course links, a sidebar tray opens with additional options to link to items or areas within your course. You can also embed images, upload or record media, and add documents. Once again, you can choose course documents and a sidebar tray will appear with course or user files that you can sort and select from. Two commonly used LTI tools, Panopto and Office 365, have icons directly in the Rich Content Editor to search for a Panopto recording to embed, or Office 365 to embed a document or a file from your OneDrive. If you have large files that don't fit in the course files area, you may plan on importing and embedding larger files that are stored in your OneDrive. You can also click the plug icon to look for additional plugins that may be of use to you. For example, the public resources tab includes YouTube, TED-Ed, Vimeo, SchoolTube, Khan Academy, and Quizlet. You have additional formatting options such as alignment, listing, and indenting options for your text. The options icon includes additional options such as the option to clear formatting, add and adjust tables, insert math equations, and embed external web content. To embed external web content, you would just need the embed code from the item you wish to embed. In this case, I can copy this embed code from a Vimeo film and paste it using the embed code option. These items are found on the toolbar, but you will find these same elements, including some additional elements by using the menu bar. Under edit, you can undo and redo actions and you can cut, copy, paste, and select all. View allows you to toggle to full screen, or not full screen mode when editing, or to view in the raw HTML for editing. You can switch back to the rich text editor by clicking the rich text editor icon. Insert allows for links, images, media, documents, equations, tables, embed codes, and horizontal lines. The formatting tools include some additional formatting such as strike through and directionality, and also includes the clear formatting option. Tools allows you to check your word count and use LTI tools that are embedded as apps into my classes. And you can use table for table editing and formatting tools. Below the content field, you will find formatting information for currently selected text, keyboard shortcuts, an accessibility checker, the word count, the icon to switch between HTML and rich content editing, as well as the icon for resizing the window. You can click to view keyboard shortcuts, but you can also view a list of keyboard shortcuts by clicking Alt F8 on a PC keyboard or Alt Function F8 on a Mac keyboard. The rich content editor is also responsive, so your toolbar options will change based on the size of your browser window. 
any missing toolbar items will collapse under the More option. Please check our additional video tips for recording and uploading media using the Accessibility Checker and recording Panopto videos. When you are done making changes to your content, press Save. Thank you for watching this video tip. For more information, please refer to the following guides.